All right. Thank you for joining us for this evening's post-game press conference. As always, we are first joined by head coach Oscar Pereja. Oscar, if you could just get us started with your thoughts on tonight's match. Well, uh, first of all, uh, we the game and derby, and I know what uh, this kind of game means for our fans, and uh, we're very disappointed not to perform the way they uh, we we should. Uh, so, but uh, in that part, I take this responsibility. Uh, I, I thought I couldn't recover the play as well. And then in this uh, uh, couple of days, uh, we, we couldn't get our energy back. And then we, after that, everything just come around. The first minute, uh, we can see this goal and our reactions were late. Uh, but the boys had done a, a, a great job during the season. Uh, they have their option to get into the playoffs uh, at home and uh, it's in our shoulders it's in our responsibility we didn't need to wait any results and then we will fight for that and uh, obviously our fans should be disappointed we are and they know how much we respect them but we're going to fight for this jersey on sunday at home we'll go to mike Ramaha. thank you hannah uh, profe obviamente no el resultado que que se esperaba hoy, lo mencionaste un poco después del partido, que todo lo que tenían planteado se, no fue con el plan que querían. Entrando este partido, ahora el domingo, eh, partido decisivo, donde básicamente se decide si Orlando o no va para los playoffs, pero el equipo lleva cuatro derrotas en los últimos cinco. ¿Cómo está la confianza del grupo? ¿Cómo como un entrenador puedes cambiar eh, la energía que mencionaste hace poco? Para, para, para sacar el equipo para adelante y para sacar ese resultado que va a ser más, de, más importante ahora, eh, el domingo. Gracias. Sí, es, es, es algo que hay que revertirlo. Nosotros hemos ya pasado por situaciones similares. Eh, hemos tenido una temporada de muchos altibajos, pero también hemos demostrado que en los momentos eh, justos el equipo saca la energía y consigue objetivos. Entonces, tenemos confianza en nuestro grupo. Hoy es un día muy difícil para absorberlo, pero lo dejaremos atrás, haremos nuestra evaluación, trataremos de sacar lo mejor que podamos de una noche tan horrible como la de esta noche, pero al mismo tiempo nos vamos a pegar de nuestra realidad y nuestra realidad es que tenemos un juego en casa y ganándolo pues estamos en los playoffs. Eh, no deberíamos estar en esta situación, es lo que a lo mejor nos pesa, pero estamos bien. Vamos a estar bien, vamos a estar con el equipo recuperado. Tuvimos, pues estaba, teníamos miedo un poco, muchos jugadores eh, esperando que no le sacaran la amarilla para poder estar en el próximo. Eh, muchas cosas que hoy coincidieron para que nuestra performance o para que nuestro rendimiento fuera así es lo que me pasó. Luis. Profe, buenas noches. Um, bueno, ya usted ha ahondado en, en el rendimiento del equipo esta noche. Hablemos de, de fútbol. Eh, para no ahondar en el tema, todos vimos lo que pasó hoy. Hay un partido el domingo que es una final. Eh, ¿Cómo revertir esta situación desde lo mental, yo siento que hoy el primer gol, por ejemplo, es algo de concentración. La falla en la marca de Higuaín para el segundo, también de concentración. ¿Cómo desde ese aspecto mental y actitudinal se puede revertir esto de cara a un partido que de nuevo es una final? Gracias. Bueno, pues eh, es una respuesta que, que te tendría que dar el, el, el domingo después del juego. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Yo creo que estar, estar eh, primero eh, eh, con los pies en la tierra, ¿no? de, saber, de saber cuál es nuestro, nuestro momento y que lo tenemos que revertir. Yo considero que el fútbol te da hasta estos, estos momentos difíciles que hemos sostenido en estos últimos dos partidos. Pero también tenemos que recordar que este ha sido un equipo que ha tenido momentos también brillantes en la temporada, que hubiéramos querido que fuesen más consistentes. Pero hoy, lo único que queda pensar es que tenemos un partido en casa que no nos podemos lamentar más, que ese partido es el pasado, que podemos corregirlo 
y que tenemos nuestra clasificación dependiendo única y exclusivamente de Orlando. Si, si vemos esa oportunidad desde ahí, pues nos corresponde solamente ir y pelear. Jugarlo bien, ganarlo y revertir este momento. Yo creo que en eso es lo que nos tendríamos que concentrar en el momento. Hey, Oscar, thanks for your time. Um, with Antonio picking up the yellow card tonight and uh, Robin being uh, downgraded from questionable to out before the last game, uh, do you have a plan already in mind for the back line for Sunday? Uh, well, uh, a little bit sooner to answer it, but uh, we always have to think about what's next. It's something that today uh, frustrated me, or probably the thing that frustrated me most after uh, seeing uh, the result too far from our reach is the lack of common sense from the referee. It's unbelievable. Uh, their, their responsibility is to protect the game and they need to have the context of the players. And it was very, very, very unnecessary with yellow card. And, and that's what disappointed me. So not a, not a good call for me and affect us not having Antonio, but we'll, we'll have, uh, we have to find a different answer and see how can we set up that back four and, and, uh, and how can we all we'll be fine. Uh, somebody needs to do that job. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Um, and when you look at your form before the U.S. Open Cup and then after the U.S. Open Cup, it's like really two different teams. How do you recapture that confidence that your team had before and during Open Cup you know, for this match coming up on Sunday against Columbus? Uh, working. I don't see any other way. Uh, many answers could be about just this mental part, but uh, the confidence that the boys had on themselves and and um, the memories that they have about many, many things that they have achieved together, uh, there would be enough just to think and change that energy. But you, you change this moment just by working, by preparing. And, uh, and that's exactly what we would do. Not that we haven't done and this past two days and a half, but it was really difficult after the New York effort just to come up again here with uh, with the energy and up. And then, and, then, and then obviously today, the result is a reflection of that. But we would prepare them by working, we would prepare them by it, uh, convince them about what they have achieved and just remember as well the moments that they have overcome, that they have done it. Profesor, eh, un resultado difícil. Eh, quería preguntarle sobre el ataque de Orlando. Eh, los últimos partidos, tanto Iván Angulo y Facundo Torres eran los extremos en ataque. Hoy día hubo un cambio con Benji Michel y Techo arriba de punta en vez de Urgen. Eh, ¿Cuál era la decisión detrás de eso? Y si veremos algún tipo de cambio de alineación de lo que viene de cara con Columbus. Sí, sí, mira. Eh, obviamente, después del resultado los análisis que uno hace como entrenador es de que no alinee bien eh, de que las decisiones que se hicieron no fueron las correctas y, y de eso yo, yo, yo pienso que es lo que nos corresponde como entrenadores porque lo que vi en el primer tiempo no me gustó y nuestras respuestas no fueron claras con la pelota pero queríamos refrescarnos un poco realmente tuvimos dos días y medio y jugar tres partidos en un periodo tan corto, pues eh, nos hace pensar de que hay alguna rotación que nos pueda ayudar, pero después del performance que tenemos, pues considera uno de que no fue lo acertado. Pero tengo un gran respeto por los futbolistas que estaban adentro del campo también, o sea, las cosas no salieron bien, ellos eh, se han preparado para, para salir, para de rendir y hoy, hoy no salió nada, hoy no salió todo, todo en reversa, ¿no? We'll go back to Mike Amaha. Eh, obviamente, y lo acabas de tocar ahí con el, el once, que era un plan que quizás que no se desarrolló como lo querían. 
hay algunos positivos que se, se puede destacar de este, de este partido o, o es algo que ya, caso cerrado, se, se, se cambie la página para pa el domingo ahora? Hoy nada, hoy nada. Lo único que siempre me queda a mí es el corazón de los jugadores. Eh, yo los veo en el camerino resentidos y tristes, pero intactos en, en lo que ellos son. Eso lo respeto mucho, pero hoy del juego no, hoy del juego no nos queda nada, porque hoy realmente pues ya lo vieron ustedes, nos superó Miami, nos superaron con, con, la, con ventaja y, y, y lo único que nos toca es aceptarlo y revertirlo, ¿ya? No, no, no tendría mucho más que decirte. We'll wrap with one more for Michael Citra. Oscar, that early goal just... Uh you know, just over 30 seconds into the game. Do you feel like that unsettled your team or or gave Miami, you know, allowed them to relax and, and settle into the game or both of those things? Right, I think it both, both of them. So it's normal when you start the game in the first minute, just considering a goal like that. Uh, and then the other team, obviously, with energy and with this momentum that they have, they take advantage of, 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 of that situation. And... And then from there, our energy was uh, doubtful and uh, we were and, and not precise in the movements and then we started losing confidence too. Plus, uh, as I say to one of your colleagues, is uh, uh, probably my decision didn't help them either. So nothing came right today. And uh, But we're going to leave it there. We're going to make our corrections. We got to move on. This is a quick turnaround. We have a possibility at home that nobody gave us. We fought for that one during the season and we have this opportunity belong to us. We'll see. We don't beat uh, Columbus, but maybe we didn't deserve to be in the playoffs, but uh, but uh, certainly we have a, a, a great opportunity at home to get our qualifications, yeah. All right, well, Oscar, it's always, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, the media will be joined by a junior question next. All right, everyone, we are now joined by Midfielder Junior Uso. We will go right into media questions for Swift Microphone. Santa, um, Junior, obviously not the result the team was looking to get out tonight. Um, you go into Sunday now with a, uh, Oscar mentioned it there, you, you guys go into Sunday's game with a, a must win now against Columbus, a final, as, as he was mentioned, uh, I said it earlier. Um, the team, however, has now four losses in their last five regular season games. How's the confidence right now with the group? Um, and how uh, how confident are you guys to to see they get a result on Sunday now? Um, hello, everyone. Uh, of course, it's a difficult moment for us. Uh, was, again, terrible night for us. Uh, we tried to, to do our best today, and uh, we made some mistakes. And uh, I think sometimes in this game it was easier to my own score. Uh, we have to say that because uh, we try to score and and uh, we try to put our best, but it's difficult. They have uh, I don't know how many guys behind, and um, we did some mistake. Not just our defenders, but uh, the eleven players who was in the field, and. Um, we have to be together and uh, try to change our mind to to get some confidence. I don't know how, but we try to in front of our fans to to get three points uh, Sunday against Columbus and put our team inside of the playoffs. Of course, Columbus is good, but uh, I think in front of our fans with our 12 player, we can can do that and. Um, I want to say something. I want to say sorry to our fans because they come from Orlando uh, to Miami to uh, to push us, and uh, today was not so good for us. And uh, I want to say sorry to our fans because they don't deserve it. We'll go to Sydney Hunt with MLSoccer.com. Hey, Junior, one, two, three. Good evening. 
Um, might kind of touch on it a little bit, but you all have lost four of your last five. But before that, you won five in a row, including the U.S. Open Cup. I asked Oscar this, but from a player standpoint, how do you all recapture that confidence that you had before this form that you're in right now? Uh, I don't really like to say that. We're going to um, provide an interpretation really quick so Junior can answer the question. The way yes. You Sorry, guys. Sydney, if you want to repeat the question, we have an interpreter in the room. Sure. Um, Junior, um, you've lost four of your last five, but before that, you won five in a row, including the U.S. Open Cup. How does the team recapture that confidence that they had when you all were in that winning four before the international break? Ok, ah, vocês perderam quatro dos últimos cinco jogos. Como é que recuperam essa confiança que tiveram quando estavam a, a ganhar os quatro seguidos jogos? Uh, I don't know how to do that, but uh, like I told you before, uh, we have to change our mind because we will play against against Columbus in front of our fans in our stadium and. Uh, I think we have to try to to remember what we did before the break and uh, the FIFA break and uh, try to to do our best. I think when we play at home, um, we push uh, the team uh, too high and we try to score every time. Uh, I think at home we can do that. Of course, we have to respect Columbus, but uh, this is this is our last chance. So. Let's try to to do our best and uh, make our job to put uh, our team inside of playoffs because uh, our fans deserve it. Uh, our team, our coach, and uh, our staff, everybody try to do uh, the best in during the season to to see the team is in playoffs. So I think we have to do that because we have uh, many people behind us uh pushing us to to do that i think it, this is a good opportunity to to put around city again in the third year in the in the playoffs we'll go we got to thank yeah. you hi junior uh each of the last two games uh you guys have only managed to get one shot on target uh it is are teams defending you guys a little differently or, or is there something else that you can identify that is, is preventing you guys from getting better opportunities and, and, and getting shots that uh, are higher percentage? Um. I don't know to to explain. Uh, we try to create many chances. Um, we have a good passings. We have a good combination. Uh, but like Oscar told us, we have to be more uh, confident. We have to get more confidence in front of the uh, the target, and uh, to shoot well. Uh, I think today we we shoot like uh, two three times, but. Just one was in the target, I think, just in, in the moment of the goal. But uh, we always create the chance. I think we have to be more calm in front of the goal. Uh, but no excuse for us. I think 
they play well. Miami knows what they 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 have to do against us. They play well. They they put the team in the good position in the game. And I think we made mistake today. I think we have to try to, like I told, forget uh, what's happened here and try to push the team uh, to get three points against Columbus. Junior, uh, um resultado ruim hoje. Emocionalmente, uh, como você sair disso, especialmente contra um time como Columbus? E também o que você achou do desempenho do árbitro hoje? Acredito que a gente, como eu disse, a gente não jogou bem hoje. É, criamos algumas oportunidades, mas. O Miami, é, acredito que eles se comportaram melhor na partida. Não acredito que eles têm um time muito melhor que o nosso. Pelo contrário, acredito que o time do Orlando é melhor do que o Miami. Só que hoje foi uma noite infeliz para gente. E é momento da gente mudar a nossa mentalidade para que a gente consiga ganhar do Columbus. Não é fácil, mas a gente tem um bom time e em frente à nossa torcida a gente consegue fazer isso. É, sobre o árbitro, eu tenho que respeitar o árbitro. Aqui nessa liga não se pode falar muito da arbitragem. É, a gente sabe disso, porque senão a gente leva algum tipo de, de punição. Ah, no meu país é normal falar da arbitragem, ah, em outros países também. Mas a gente tem que respeitar o árbitro. É, semana passada aconteceu um pênalti, eu achei, a nosso favor, contra o New York. O rapaz controlou a bola e bateu na mão, o defensor... E... E o juiz falou que a regra não é não é assim, não é pênalti. E hoje aconteceu do Juan controlar a bola e a bola bater na mão e eles dão o pênalti. E o árbitro disse para gente que não foi ele que apitou semana passada. Então, com ele funciona desse jeito e a gente tem que respeitar. É, foi uma noite triste, mas vamos tentar seguir em frente. É, tentar colocar o Orlando nos playoffs. Eu vou colocar uma questão para o Mike Junior, uh, I'm just wondering. Obviously, the the, the team, the, this this run that the team's on. Obviously, it started after the team won the Open Cup final. But uh, obviously, there was a two week break almost um, after the Toronto game. Um, if you, I, I'm just curious to know if there was if there was just a sudden switch into did that two week break kind of stop the momentum or pause whatever the whatever momentum the team was trying to get and how do you kind of bring this momentum back into play on Sunday and obviously to try to make bring that momentum into the playoffs if if the team's able to get a, a playoff spot um, yes I think so uh, it was in a good moment um, before the break, and uh, I don't like the breaks. Uh, I prefer to to play. Doesn't matter uh, if somebody has to go to the national team. Of course, I respect every player, every team, every decision. But I don't like because we was in a good moment, and many times uh, this happened. Not just with our team, it's everybody. But I don't like. Um, and uh, for me, it was bad because we was in a good moment. And then in the break, uh, I think we we don't train a lot because we have also uh, the, uh, how can you say, Huracan? Oh, yeah, yeah Hurricane. Mm -hmm. Huracan was in, the, in Orlando and we don't train well in the week. And um, it was hard for us last week. And uh, I think the team don't come back. Yes, we we will try to do that last next week, and uh, like I say, two three times uh, we have to put the team in the playoffs. This is my third year over here, and um, we did two times. Let's try to do again. I know we can do that, and uh, we know we never hunt alone. We have our our fans, and uh, I want to say to the fans, please go to the stadium next week and push us. Uh, we can do that for, for them.
All right, well, we'll wrap there, Junior. As always, thank you for your time and thank you to our members of the media for joining us. And we will speak to you again on Sunday after the Columbus match. Thank you all. Thank you.